Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at how we can use the binomial expansion to estimate high powers of certain values. These questions are in exercise 8e. So when we're using binomial expansion to approximate uh, very high powers of something, um, we can only do this where x is a very small number. Now let's consider what happens when uh, x is 0 0.2 in this expansion here. We've obviously just expanded uh, 3 minus 2x to the power of 5 here. Um, so let's consider what happens if we plug in 0 0.2. So the first term, that's still going to be 243. The next term here is going to be 810 times 0 0.2. This term here is going to be 1080 times 0 0.2 squared, and you can see what's going to happen as we start to increase the power of x. As we increase the power on the x, the 0 0.2 is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, so that we end up not having to consider very high powers of x here. It will only start affecting the very, very small decimal point values. So when we uh, simplify this together, we're going to get a quite an accurate answer here. Okay, so we can ignore later terms since they have less of an effect on our final answer. So let's go through a question here. Find the first four terms of the binomial expansion 1 minus x over 4 to the power 10 in ascending powers of x. Just the first four terms here. So applying the formula here, it's a to the power of n, that's 1 to the power of 10, Add 10, choose 1, decrease the power on the 1, increase the power on the negative x over 4. And decrease the powers on the 1, increase the chooses, and increase the powers on x over 4, or minus x over 4. Simplify your final answer, and you may get some fractions here because we've uh, got divisors of 4 here. And we get 1 minus 2.5x plus 2.8125x squared minus 1.875x cubed. Okay, so that's the answer to part A effectively of this question. Part B is now we're going to use this binomial expansion here to approximate 0 0.975 to the power of 10. So what we're effectively going to have to do here is use what's inside our bracket here as the value of 0 0.975 to the power of 10. So if one point, if one minus x over four equals 0 0.975, what does x have to be? Well, let's just rearrange this little equation here. And we get x is 0 0.1. We can see here, if we were to plug in 0 0.1 as the value here, that would be one minus 0 0.1 over four. So that would be 0 0.025. One minus 0 0.025 is 0 0.975. And now what we can do is substitute in 0 0.1 into this expansion here. So what do we get when we substitute in 0 0.1 as our value for x? We get 0 0.77625. Uh, if we were to actually have done 0 0.975 to the power of 10 on the calculator, we get 0 0.776329, which is not too bad uh, of an approximation really here. Right, okay, your turn then. Pause the video and have a go at this question here. Right, okay, well done for having a go at this question here. Find the first four terms of this binomial expansion here. So it's going to be 1 to the power of 6, add 6 choose 1, times 1 to the power of 5, times, and now we increase the power on the negative x over 10, uh, like that. The next term is going to be 6 choose 2 times 1 and we decrease the power on the 1 and we increase the power on the second term. So now it's a squared. And the fourth term here is going to be 6 choose 3 times decrease the power on the 1, increase the power on the minus x over 10. And we're nearly there. We just need to now simplify our answer. Uh, 6 choose 1 is 6, divide that by 10 and you get 0.6x. The next value here is going to be 6 choose 2 
times uh, 1 over 10 squared, so divide that by 100 effectively, and we get uh, plus 0.15x squared. The reason we get a plus here is because we're squaring a negative value here. And then we need to just do 6 choose 3, which is 20, and it's going to be minus x over 10 cubed. So we're going to divide by 1,000 effectively. And we get a final answer here of negative 0.02x cubed. The reason this is a negative 0.02 is because it's a negative cubed. So a negative cubed gives us another negative. So this is our final answer to part B. So to part A. Now we're on to part B and we need to approximate 0.99 to the power of 6. So what does x have to be? Well, if 1 minus x over 10 is what we're going to use as our value for 0.99, then 0.01 must equal x over 10. So therefore, 0.1 is going to be our value for x. Now what we've got just to do is to substitute 0.1 into this equation here. So it's going to be 1 minus... 0.06, doing the multiplication there, and then it's going to be add 0.0015, and then it's going to be take away 0 .0 0.02 times 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.1, and that gives us 0 0.00002. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, and let's simplify all of this together, and we get one minus zero point zero six. Add zero point zero zero one five. Take away zero point zero 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 two. And we get final answer here of zero point nine four one four eight. By substituting in x equals zero point one. Okay, so there we are. That's uh, how we perform questions uh, such as the questions in exercise 8c. So stop the video, have a go at some questions from that exercise, uh, persevere through those challenging ones, and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Thanks for watching.